This is a demonstration of using the Samsung Office Serve Call application to do a screen pop uh, to a web page. And the way that this works is uh, we configure a web page to go to right here. I've got this going to Google Maps and then it pastes in the caller ID phone number of the person who's calling and does a lookup that way. But this first part could basically be any web page, something like Salesforce or even an intranet application that um, you know a company had designed. And it can either plug in the caller ID or it can plug in the phone number that the person called to, which is the DID, direct inward dial phone number. But in this example here, I'm going to use the caller ID. So I'll just go ahead and minimize that. And now when I get a call on my office phone, it automatically launches the web page and takes me to uh, this Gmail, I'm sorry, not Gmail, Google Maps uh, page that has searched off of the um, phone number right there. Okay, And if I change the phone number on the phone that's calling, it'll take me just a moment here, I'm going to spoof somebody else's number into that. Okay, so now when my phone calls again, it will launch, and here it has um, picked in the picked up the calling phone number, the caller ID, and done a Google Maps lookup on this particular business. So you can do it that way, or it can look up on the dialed number. If I wanted to change that to look up the dialed number. Then I would go here and change this to DID, or I could put both in, CLID and DID. Say OK, OK, and now when I get a call, it's going to launch a web page, and it tried to look it up with the last four digits of the dialed number, but obviously there's not really a match in Google Maps for that number. But if it were going to, like I said, Salesforce or an intranet, there could be a valid match on that particular number as uh, a parameter on a, uh, a web page, on a URL. And that might bring up some meaningful information. And that's basically it.